Hi guys, John from rife.com.au. Today I'm just going to quickly show you how to keep your rife gun in tip top order. So what we want to do first of all is we want to remove all the componentry. So what I'm doing here is I'm just removing the handle and two screws that hold the handle onto a Euro style of rife gun. Just remove both those. With the screw inside the handle, don't remove it all the way because it can be tricky to get back in. Okay, now uh, just to simplify the process because I do this a fair bit, I'm just going to use a little uh, handheld electric screwdriver. Just removing the two holding screws that hold the trigger mechanism in place. Okay, that's one. Does make it easier. Quite a fine thread, so um, it's a bit of risk work in getting them out. Okay, let's take out the other one. Okay, once that comes out, there's two white nylon bushes that are inside the uh, spaces for the trigger mechanism to stop it being crushed. We're just going to tap those out. So just roll your gun over and just be careful while it, they should just about fall out. There we go, that's one, and the other one out. Now you'll need a 1 16th inch Allen key. You need to remove the line release from the gun. So you can see I'm winding this. Just be careful with this, it's very easy to strip this um, grub screw. So um, gently, gently as it goes when it's coming out, pull your grub screw out and remove your line release as so. Now all we need to do is just gently lever out the trigger mechanism and away she comes. Okay, Phillips head holds on our um, butt end. As I said, if you are doing it regularly, one of these uh, handheld screwdrivers is very handy. So off it comes. Okay, now we just want to remove the um, line anchor plate, uh, the, which holds the bungee. So just two screws. It may feel like it's a little bit stuck, but it's probably just a little bit of swelling in the wood. Just give it a little wiggle and it should pop out for you. There we go. Underneath that, there's a small uh, piece of uh, like sponge, holds the magnet in. Okay, we'll just remove the screw that holds the muzzle reinforcement plate in place. And just with a slot head screwdriver, just push the reinforcement plate out. Now, um, I quite often just uh, give the rubbers a little quick hit with silicon spray, it makes them easier to remove from the gun. Okay, a few small screws with a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove the line anchor plate. And we're just about done. Quick sand, very quick sand. So, um, yeah, I just work backwards, uh, reasonable grit paper, and um, work down a grade as we work along. Just want to remove that varnish. This is um, twice a year if you do a lot of diving. Uh, once a year is usually enough if you do a, a good job of it. So I just want to take off the coating that's there. We don't want to take away too much timber. And here we have um, a teak maintenance kit, which are available through the website, of course. So dab it on a clean, lint-free cloth and just apply your teak oil. As you can see, it comes up absolutely beautifully. And um, that's all you need to do once or twice a year. Brilliant.